is an old recipe that I got <coughs> out of a Field and Stream magazine. It's called Immortality in a Mason Jar. And I don't know if you've ever heard, read, heard of Red Keller. But anyway, you can look into that. But this, this is an article about making these biscuits. And here's his starter. Now he made these biscuits on a float trip on one of the big rivers up in the northwest. I forget what you, which one it was. He had this sourdough starter for 50 years. Now I'm not going to make 16 biscuits. I'm going to half this. But there's the ingredients. And there shows you how to, how to uh, mix it up. And we're just going to cut it in half and we're going to make it here today. And we are going to make it outside over the campfire. All right, let's mix this up. We've got three and three quarter cups of flour. You use all purpose, whatever you want. We have in this bowl uh, our other dry ingredients. We got an eighth of a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of sugar, I'm sorry. A, te a teaspoon of salt, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. It all into the pool. I think we're going to kind of mix this up a little bit before we mix in our sourdough starter. We had the bread, the sourdough bread, turned out real good. Uh, gave it to several people. They tried it, they liked it. So I think we got us a good starter. All right, to that, we are going to add two cups of our sourdough starter. Got it measured out. I think the next video I'm going to do on the sourdough is uh, I'm going to make sourdough cinnamon rolls. Oops. Again, one of the drawbacks of this is it's a sticky dough. The boy if these biscuits or anything like that bread. Alright, it's time to go in. We're going to have to add just a little bit of water. This is going to be my cast iron Wednesday, by the way. Add just a little bit of water to that. Imagine out on a riverbank somewhere making this stuff up. Well, we're not on a riverbank, but we're going to be out in our backyard in a minute, so. Just a little bit more. Yeah, we're getting there now. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Let me get a piece of paper down here, and uh, we'll roll these out. I just decided I'd put them on the counter. We're going to roll these out to about a half inch thick or so. We don't want them too thick. Hope my old bald head didn't get in the way again. Like I said, we're only going to make a half a batch. Because it's just me and Mama. I hate to have to eat all these by myself. I think that's plenty good right there. Yeah. All right. Let's cut these out. Let's take your glass. Whatever you got. We got some biscuit cutters over there. Gonna be a pretty good biscuit. All right, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna roll this dough out again, get a couple more out of there, and uh, I'm gonna go out and get the fire going and get the Dutch oven ready, and uh, we'll cook some biscuits. All right, we got our fire cooking. I want to show you what I got. Whoo! <laughs> Sorry about that. Y'all are not familiar with Kent Rollins, the old chuck wagon cook. You ought to go over and check him out. I bought this from him. I'm always needing a little trivet or a little something. And he's he sold me this. I guess he makes them and or somebody makes them for him. But he sends you two sets of screws. And these are your legs. You set it up high or you can set it up low. And we're going to try it out today. Maybe. A little something. I think, boy, I can't believe you paid paid for that yeah I did life's too short folks if you can afford it and you can do it do it enjoy enjoy life don't get crazy enjoy it you set your Dutch oven right on that it keeps it up off the coals and gives you a little bit of bottom heat or you can pile your coals under there but a little something I got from Kent Rollins all right, we got our fire good and hot. We want to put our Dutch oven. I got a little trivet on there. We're trying that today. You can see that grease in there is good and hot. You want that Dutch oven hot. And uh, let me get my little temperature deal out and let's see what she is. It's 400 degrees, so that's good and hot. What we want to do, you can see it's smoking a little bit. Is we want to start taking these biscuits and putting them right in there. We want them touching. Here we got a little sizzle going on there. And I've got too many biscuits, so I'm going to have to cook these up. We're going to have to make a double batch. All right. We'll take and put the lid on there. Then we're going to take and put some coals on top of the lid. And we're going to let that cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. 
and I'll bring you back when we open her up. All right, folks, I went ahead and pulled them off. Been about 15 minutes. Let's see what we got. Hey, I believe we got a biscuit. Uh-oh, I smoked the bottom of them. Yeah, well, not too bad. Let's go ahead and flip them over. Yeah, some, a couple of them got burnt. That's not bad. Those are okay. Those two over there, I can scrape them off. That's not a big deal. But there you have it. There's you some sourdough biscuits. Made outside on a 75 degree day. Right at the end of February. This weather is unbelievable. Appreciate y'all watching. That's my cast iron Wednesday for this week. Hope everybody's safe and doing good. Appreciate you watching. See ya.